if you're an independent hip hop artist, you're gonna wanna hear this. There are three steps that are already in motion in your life that are going to make the difference between you getting from where you are now point A to point B. So if you're at a place where you're not consistently releasing high quantity of high quality music, you're not gaining fans, you're not making an income, you're not making headway in your music career, then you're gonna need to hear this. Now, generally speaking, when people talk about three steps, the gurus, generally they're saying, do these three steps or these five steps or these seven steps and then they're gonna da da ba ba and what ends up happening? They, they don't mean fucking anything. Those three steps don't do shit most of the time. How do I know? I've been doing music for fucking 13 years as an independent hip hop artist. I fully produce my own music. I teach independent hip hop artists with full-time jobs how to become their own music producers in 90 days. So it's safe to say I've talked to a lot of musicians. I'm a musician myself. And now I'm at the point where I built a full-time income. I'm actually on pace to do six figures in income uh, with my music business. So I've seen it. I've been there. I've done that. And uh, yeah, most of the motherfuckers on YouTube are talking shit and they're full of shit because that's what they're talking shit because they're full of shit. And uh, I want to literally share just like these three steps that, like I said, this isn't like take these three steps and implement them and you're going to see results because what the fuck? You really think you're going to see results on a YouTube video for free? Or you think you're going to get results from a, a free YouTube video? Like what the fuck? No, like probably not. You need to like actually invest. But I want to explain these three steps to you because these are already happening. These are three steps that are already going on in your life that maybe you're not aware of that I, I personally really wasn't aware of until I just did this pump at the gym and I thought about it and I said, damn, this is literally what every single human goes through, but nobody's really understanding and aware of it. I'm not trying to sound like this fucking guru who knows more than you. I'm just sharing some ideas. And this one, the, to me, this is one of the biggest gems I've been able to share on YouTube. It's such a big gem that I'm on my phone recording. I'm not using... I'm not using my fucking light. I'm not using my camera. I'm not using my fancy mic. I was like, no, I got to pull out the fucking phone and talk to my folks here. Uh, so here's what the three steps are. Bo bonus beginning step, first of all, right, is, is essentially your intention, like where you're trying to go. Like you have to have some kind of an intention of where you're going. So that, that's kind of the first thing. Everybody knows kind of where they want to go. I hope like for you watching this, you're probably in a place where you're thinking, I want to make a full-time income as an artist. I want to become my own music producer so that I can put out higher quantities of high quality music. If you're watching this right now and you're like, no, I'm okay with buying beats on BeatStars. No, I'm okay with getting beats off YouTube. I'm fine with hiring producers. This ain't the video for you. This is for people who want to produce their own music for the reason to take their career to that next level. So intentions like kind of the bonus first step. The next step, ideas. Yeah, you got ideas. Everybody has ideas. We all have ideas flying through our heads every second of every day, positive ones and negative ones. We all know that. Ideas are awesome. Okay. The problem is step two and step three, but step two, between step one and two, what's step two? Priorities. Everyone's got priorities. You got to be realistic about what your priorities are. It's based on your actions. So let me give you an example. Okay. Intention. I want a six pack. Okay. Ideas. I have an idea of what I want to look like. I have an idea of my dream body. Okay, cool. But let's just say, for example, you never go to the gym. Like you just don't go. You maybe go once or twice a week, if that. And when you go to the gym, you don't really work that hard. You don't know what you're doing. You don't have a plan. You fuck around at the gym. You do some shit that you think you should do. And then when it comes to the meals, you don't eat clean. You don't eat healthy. You don't really, like, when you go to the grocery store, you kind of guess when you buy shit. You don't look at the fucking label, right? But, what do you, but, but, but every weekend, you're going out. You're going out with the homies. Oh, I'm, I'm going out. It's been a long week. I'm getting a beer. You're like almost more conscious and serious about where you're going to drink on the weekend. Even if it's just a couple beers, it's just a couple. You're more conscious of that effort 
than you are of like the other one, which is getting a six pack. You have this idea of your head. Hey, I, I want to make great music. Okay, everybody wants to make great music. That we can agree on. We can agree on that. If you don't want to make music your full-time income, I can respect that. But if you don't want to make great music, what the fuck? So your actions honestly dictate your priorities. You can say what you think your priorities are. Those are ideas, but what, what's actually a priority is based on your actions, right? So let me, let me speak it for the independent hip hop artist. Let's say your idea is to put out a high quantity of high quality music. No one with, can argue with me on that, okay? If that's not a priority for you, definitely not the video to watch. I'm definitely not the guy to listen to, okay? Everybody should be wanting to put out a high quantity of high quality. What's high quantity? At least a song a month. If you're doing one song every single month, one brand new song with a nice proper release strategy, it doesn't need to be a massive release strategy, but you're at least putting some content. Maybe you're spending money on ads. You're telling people about the song, a proper release strategy, right? It's planned. It's not just like surprise new song out, link in bio, and that's it. That's not a fucking release strategy. It is, but it's a shitty one. I'm talking about some, some kind of release strategy. Okay, so one song a month with some kind of release strategy, even if it's low budget, that's fine. Okay. I'd say high quantity is at least a song a month. That's pretty good. That's a solid, that's a very, 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 very solid quantity. Song every six weeks is okay too. If it's a pro, if it's a really good release strategy, but any less than that, you're, you're going to fall behind. you you, you really just are. You're just not going to be relevant. You're not going to gain new fans. You're not going to keep your current fans nurtured. So Let's say that you want to release a high quantity of high quality. Now, what's high quality music mean? Well, quality is subjectively. Okay, let me tell you what's not high quality. You ripping beats off YouTube. You spending 20 or 30 or $40 on beat stars. You spending hundreds of dollars per beat. Let me say why. The quality of the music might be really good, but the quality of your process ain't good. Think about it. You got to spend, let's say you buy a beat, 250, 300. Let's just say 250. For mixing and mastering, that's going to cost you somewhere around another 100 to 250 bucks on average. So on average, low conservative number, you're going to spend around $500 per song. Okay? $500 per song. If you want quality. You can go that route. 500 times 12 is 6,000. You're going to be spending over $6,000 per year for your music before spending money on marketing. Okay, fair enough. So again, we're going with the assumption that your priority is what? High quantity of high quality music. Your actions honestly don't really dictate that though. They don't. You can be putting out quality music, but do you know what you're doing with your marketing? No. I know plenty of artists who make extremely quality music where they buy the beats, they go to a studio, and guess what they do for their marketing? Fucking nothing. They don't know what they're doing. Why? Because they're spending all their fucking mental energy and money and time waiting for producers. The third step, actions. What are you doing? Ideas. Intention is the bonus step. Idea. You got an idea. Priority. Actions. The other problem is a lot of y'all are fucked up with your priorities. Stay focused. Put out high quantity of high quality music. What do you need to do? Put out a new song every single month. You gotta be able to do that. You gotta be able to do that. If you ain't doing that, then you need to switch some shit around or quit music and go do something else. There's nothing wrong with that. If you wanna do this fucking music thing and you wanna make it, dude, yeah, you gotta do, you gotta, you gotta put music out. You gotta put content out there. It ain't fucking hard. You want ideas for content? Go, go watch those fucking YouTube music marketing gurus. Type music marketing strategies and you'll fucking find some free three-step process. Use that shit. You'll figure it out. It's not that hard. Honestly, in my Rapid Fire Music Academy, we teach it as a fucking free bonus. It's called the Rapid Fire Fan Base Attraction System. It's not the main portion of it, but it is part of it. Point being, fuck. I, <laughs> intention first. Idea priorities, action. If you ain't taking the right actions, that's going to dictate your priorities. So here's, here's the deal. If you're not able to put out a high quantity of high quality music effectively and efficiently, you need to make a change now. Okay. 
Best way to do it is to produce your own music. You got to produce your own music. Make your own beats, record your own vocals at home, mix and master. Best way to do it, honestly, is fucking signing up with Rapid Fire Music Academy. You can go on YouTube for free to learn. It took me four years to get me good at it. I will literally save you four years of time. Imagine this. Imagine, obviously, to join this academy, there's a fucking investment, duh. So you can book a call below to talk to me, but if you're not ready to invest, it's fine. Don't book the call. But let me explain this to you. You're going to pay an upfront investment, and it ain't cheap, by the way. It's in the mid-thousands, just so you know. So kind of be ready for that. It's customized pricing. I'm not going to tell you the price before the call yet. It's in the mid-thousands. But let me explain this to you. It's it's much, 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 much less than that $6,000 per year that we were that we were talking about earlier. It's way less. So you pay this upfront investment, you fucking get the results in 90 days guaranteed, three months, and you're fully producing your own music, you'll never have to buy beats or pay for mixing and mastering ever again. You save so much money and so much time in the long run because you don't have to wait for producers. You don't have to go fucking buy beats on fucking beat stars. Why would anyone not want to do this? I don't, I don't know. So here's what you need to do. Book a call below, sign up, and get ready to pay. Don't book the call as an informational. It ain't a networking call. It ain't a, oh, I want to meet you, Lee. No, don't do that. I'm literally going to cancel the call on you. Just be ready to invest. Be ready to get started with this shit, all right? Hope this video helped. Damn, almost punctured a fucking rib yelling at y'all. My bad. It's all out of love. But I appreciate you so much for watching this and uh, looking forward to speaking with you. Peace.